My next patron question is from Gray, who wants to know why a major Hollywood director has not made a movie in a while. One Hollywood figure I'm curious about is Richard Donner. He was a rather prominent director in the 80s and 90s, and known for such hits as the first two Superman films, The Goonies, Scrooge, and the Lethal Weapon films. In recent years, however, he seems to have disappeared from the limelight. The last he was seemingly heard from was in 2006, when Superman 2 received its own director's cut. Any idea why he is not heard from as much nowadays? It is surprising Richard Donner has not directed a film since 16 Blocks in 2006, as he's clearly a well-respected filmmaker with admirers in Hollywood and around the world. One possible reason is that the last few films he directed unfortunately did not perform all that well. 16 Blocks did not recoup its budget during its theatrical run, and Timeline was a major flop. That lessens the number of scripts likely being sent his way. Considering his work on Superman, The Omen, and The Goonies, you certainly cannot call him a bad director, though. It's possible that, in his later years, he became more choosy about the projects he signs up to direct. While he worked steadily and frequently between The Omen in 1976 and Lethal Weapon 4 in 1998, there is a five-year gap between the latter film and Timeline. Two films he had been developing and discussing since 2006 were sequels to his earlier hits. Donner, Steven Spielberg, and Chris Columbus have dropped hints for years about making The Goonies 2. Donner has revealed he has an idea that Spielberg really likes, but it's all a matter of getting the original actors on board and having Warner Brothers sign off on making a sequel. To be honest, I think if a continuation of The Goonies were to happen, I think the most likely scenario now would be a streaming series like Cobra Kai and The New Mighty Duck Show. Since HBO Max is currently a thing, it's not out of the question. However, it seems to all hinge on multiple parties. Another sequel Richard Donner has wanted to direct is Lethal Weapon 5. There have been discussions for years, but it has not gotten off the ground. However, Donner revealed in an interview with The Telegraph in December that he is preparing to direct the fifth film in the series. So he still holds a passion for directing, despite being out of the limelight for a while. It's wonderful that, at 91 years old, he has retained that enthusiasm. He also said that if Lethal Weapon 5 actually does happen, it would be the last film he directs. Outside of these possible sequels, each passing year he has not stepped foot on a film set has probably given producers and studios the impression that he retired. Before I started researching for this video, I also assumed he was happily retired. But because he still wants to direct the next Lethal Weapon film, the more suitable description is that he's on a hiatus. Interesting enough, his wife, Lauren Schuler Donner, has been a very active producer. She has produced and executive produced a number of notable films over the years, some with Richard Donner and others without, including Pretty in Pink, Dave, You've Got Mail, The Secret Life of Bees, and the Free Willy movies. Her most famous credits, though, are on the X-Men movies. While she has gotten less involved with the series in recent years, she still played a major role in getting the X-Men films made. I mention her because both Donners were pivotal in launching the career of one of the most successful film producers working today. When a young Kevin Feige was offered the chance to work as a producer's assistant, he selected the Donners because Superman is one of his favorite films and biggest influences. However, Lauren Shula Donner was a lot busier due to her involvement in several films made under their production company. So Feige worked a lot more closely with her, especially on Volcano and You've Got Mail. When she started producing X-Men, she promoted him to associate producer. His contributions to that film caught the attention of Marvel, and the rest is history. I'm just bringing this up because I find it fascinating to think what could have been. Had Feige been Richard Donner's assistant rather than Laura Shuler Donner's, would the Marvel Cinematic Universe cease to exist? Anyway, from what I gather, Richard Donner has kept himself busy with pursuing film projects, but it can be difficult getting any movie off the ground. If he does end up directing Lethal Weapon 5, I hope he enjoys himself and makes a swan song he can be proud of. Thank you for your question, Graham.